Over a few months ago here at Tech Yes City, we started a series where the goal was to start with $100 and flip my way up to a high-end gaming PC. And now we've got some good and we've also got some bad news. And obviously the bad news is that due to a certain worldwide phenomenon at the moment, we have had to delay this series because the market went all haywire. But the good news is, is since I did that first episode, right before all that happened, we had sold five pieces that we picked up for $100 and we've made 520 Aussie dollars. So that was the most crucial part of this series and we absolutely nailed it. But now, in the second episode here today, we are not going to stop. We have got the goods ready to go to pick up some of the best deals and get those gaming PCs flipped and flip our way up. Get excited and let's get into it. So jumping straight into the deals, it's always a good thing when you're on a strict budget and you wanna get the best gear possible for the money, something that you can not only play games on yourself, but also the possibility if you wanna flip it and make a bit of money, it all starts with getting the best deal. Now, you can wait and patience is a virtue here. If you wait, then you can really pick up some good deals. Now, of course, the benefit of today, and I've already found this deal on Facebook Marketplace, which we're gonna go check out very soon, but the good thing about finding deals today is, is that it's a weekday and it's like right now it's 11 a.m. So if ads get posted up on the weekday when most people are at work and it's just people clearing out their old stuff, you can get some really good deals during weekdays, during business hours. I find these are some of the best times to really get on your game. So what we've got here first up is an i5 just desktop computer, but it also comes with a monitor, keyboard and mouse. And from the photo, I mean, there's only one photo on here. So, but what I see there is a lot of potential. So we're gonna at least go check it out. Even though I'm sort of, I told the guy, look, I'll pay the $200 asking price that you're asking for this if it does check out. So we're gonna go check that out right now. But we also, in the recent parts hunt, picked up an i5 banged up desktop computer from Les. So we're gonna use one of those. That's 90 Aussie dollars, comes with an i5 fourth gen, eight gigabytes of RAM, and a power supply and motherboard. And that's the crucial thing. So to complete that system, the $90 system, all we're gonna need is a graphics card, a case, and a hard drive. So upstairs here with the Tech Yes calculator, if I'm doing everything correctly, we should have maybe about $100 left over after we get a graphics card and a hard drive for the other build. And we still don't know what could be wrong with this first build. It could be something faulty, we might have to add something. So I'm not too sure there. So that extra hundred or so dollars that I'm still budgeting for in our budget is still left over in case we come into some problems. But if everything goes right, then we should definitely have here potential to turn 520 Aussie dollars into over a thousand dollars. And that's really gonna put us in a good spot. So finally, let's go for a ride. And actually, I know a few of you guys are probably thinking, well, what about gas prices, Brian? You have to add that into the budget. And uh, here's a little secret for you guys. Just borrow a ride off your friend. You won't have to pay any gas. So we've just picked up this first deal now, and this is looking really good. I couldn't wait to get back to the Tech yes studio to check out what's inside it. So I quickly pulled the panel off, and it's got an i5-4590 and also an R7-270X, eight gigabytes of RAM, 750 gigabyte hard drive, and a 400 watt uh, power supply. So power supply should be fine. We shouldn't have to replace it, providing everything works. And that's one thing we've got to get back to the studio and check it out for. Of course, things like the cooler and the monitor here do need a bit of tech yes loving. So the monitor is 24 inch Samsung, but it does have a bit of dirt on it. And this keyboard and mouse, these look amazing. So <laughs> hopefully they haven't had water or anything dripped on them because I actually didn't test this out. I just saw it pop up and I'm like, these are those kind of deals that you just quickly snag up. Otherwise someone else is just gonna come in and swoop it up. So we're gonna now move on to the next deal and get Papa Loppin. So now we got a crucial hookup here from Les, which was really good and I'm super happy about this. 
Uh, the 500 gigabyte for 15 Aussie dollars, that's pretty standard in the industry, but then he had a B grade monitor, or I'd say B minus, because it had a scratch on it, and it's 22 inch a Dell. We got this for 20 Aussie dollars, and then we got the keyboard and mouse thrown in. So usually if you're picking up PC parts, I find a lot of people, if they've got banged up keyboards and mice that are dirty, they haven't been cleaned yet, they'll just give them away. They'll throw them in with a deal as a sweetener. I mean, when I sell PCs, I do it myself. The thing is, I'm pretty good with the Tech Yes Love and process at cleaning these keyboards and mice up. So it takes me about five minutes that I can get them looking like brand new, as well as that hygiene. They're very clean, don't worry about that. I use these keyboards myself too, and you gotta see me around Tech Yes City, I don't really get sick. And of course around Tech Yes, we do the whole practice what you preach. I use some of these uh, cleaned up keyboards around my studio, haven't been sick for, I think like four or five years. I haven't had like any sort of illness or sickness, so been pretty good. Maybe you need a bit of Tech Yes loving in your life. Anyhow, so from here on in, we've just got to go around the corner to a computer store and pick up a case loaded with four LED fans, and that's 59 Aussie dollars, and it's got a clear side panel and stuff. This is pretty important because we need a very small case where we can run our CPU from the HP power supply. So if it's too big, we won't be able to run the cables, but this looks perfect to be able to run our cables and do everything in between. So let's get crack a lacking on that. And in the meantime, we're gonna look for a graphics card, whether it's a 1050 or a 950, 960. They're sort of like what we want because we're using that stock power supply. We can't go too heavy on the power consumption on the GPU. So these cards are usually perfect, especially coupled in with our budget. So we're gonna be very conscious of that. So let's go pick up this next piece and hopefully we'll find a graphics card by then. So we're just on our way to the computer store and something really cool happened and that is I put down a few offers of GTX 950s and also 960s and one person came back to us and I put in an offer of 80 and they came back to us at 90 and that was for the 960 and it's an Azus Strix. So we're gonna quickly go detour and grab that ASAP and snap it up because everyone's hungry for GPUs and that's a pretty good price, believe it or not, where I'm at at the moment for GPUs. So we're gonna go snap that up and then we'll go get the case. So we finally got back to the tech yes. studio and we've got some really good deals here. I mean, this is what it's all about when it's on a budget, but of course there is one risk and that is we're still gonna especially test out this $200 system and we've got to put together this system right here and hopefully hope that nothing goes wrong in the process. Though we've got a tally here that's 474 Aussie dollars and that gives us about $46 left to play with wiggle room in case we come into any problems whilst we're building these two systems out. But yeah, let the tech yes magic begin and see what we can muster up here. Thank you. 
And we've finally completed both these setups. However, we're doing this one first. Like we're gonna talk about this, we're gonna install Windows first, mainly because the other setup actually has a problem and we'll talk about that in a second. But for what it's worth, we've got the 24 inch monitor that we got from the other setup and we're gonna use it with this one because there's RGB on the other one with the keyboard and mouse and it's got some other selling points, but I feel like you shouldn't have all the strong selling points in one ad and all the weak ones in the other. So we're using the weaker keyboard and mouse in this setup and then we're using the stronger monitor, the stronger 960. And then of course we've got the four blue LED fans, which look great. And we're gonna use that to sort of mix and match strength and weaknesses. And that's a great thing to do, especially around this price point, in my opinion. Uh, we've also pulled out three fans from the deep cool build that I feel I just, we can keep these for a later hustle especially because they're just not shining through that front panel. They're not gonna make a difference whatsoever. We can add more bling later. And then we've also pulled off a USB uh, Bluetooth dongle that if we get a higher end build, we can add one of these on and it's a great selling point or we can just, if someone wants to buy a dongle when we're flipping our PCs, we can just add $15 uh, dollars on top. So let's get Windows installed on this one and we'll hopefully this one works too. Like the graphics card seems fine okay, but you never fully find out if a graphics card's 100% until you install the drivers and start uh, stress testing it. So let's get Windows installed and then let's get onto this other build right here while this one's uh, sort of setting itself up to save some time. So this system right here, we can get into the BIOS, which is great, it means the graphics card works, the RAM is all showing up, everything's fine here, uh, but there's just one problem and that is if we go to the um, boot device, there's just nothing showing up. So there's no boot uh, drives here. And we've got the SATA cable plugged in. We've uh, got the drive plugged in off the SATA power. It's absolutely fine, but there's just no uh, drive showing up. So I feel like the 750 gigabyte hard drive that's put in this doesn't work at all. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and take this drive out, use the same cables with another 500 gigabyte hard drive I've got here and if that works, then we're gonna to have to add another $15 onto our build total. And on top of that, we've had to add another $5 in connectors that we used on the HB build since we had a PCI uh, SATA to six pin adapter for the graphics card. And we also had to then use a uh, Molex to SATA adapter and then the Molex to the four pin uh, fan headers. And of course we ended up soldering that on to get that to work in that HP build. So let's just try and change this drive around and see what we can make out of it. But I will say one thing so far, and that is that the keyboard and mouse look better than I thought they would. So that's gonna be a great selling point for this build. Uh, the case looks tidy. The 22 inch monitor is gonna go great. I think we've got uh, two winners if the hard drive works. I mean, I'm hoping it's not the motherboard. That's gonna be a big pain if that is the actual problem. And now we're at the finished products because we got two complete systems that are set up. I've been running these stress tests for quite a while and they are running absolutely fine. The noise is low, the temperatures are good, everything is stable. We are ready to rock and roll and sell both these setups here. And the best thing about both these setups is Windows 10 Pro is activated on both of these systems. I didn't have to put any keys in, but I did have a little bit of budget spare for that if I needed to, but we've got a system that's running absolutely fine. One thing I'll probably have to do on the Strix, the 960 here is change the thermal paste around as it is getting a little bit hot there. So that's just one thing we can quickly do before we sell it. With that being said though, we'll get onto a conclusion here where I'll talk about how much I plan to flip these for and what's the coming plan after we hopefully sell both these PCs. And with all that out of the way, we are at the finish line here for episode two of flipping our way and turning $100 into a high-end gaming PC. And I'm already excited about these two setups because I know they're going to sell because they're presenting really nicely. They're functioning 100%. We're stress testing it out in the heaven benchmark, leaving it on, I'm gonna leave them on all night 
uh, to make the like solidify the stress test but other than that it's just this episode is the most crucial in terms of trading our way up and not going backwards and then getting that healthy budget to do much more we've got m so many more opportunities than we would have had previously when we we're on that tight budget of 100 bucks we had to really micro our way and get these deals that were going to make more money straight away and i had to put a lot of time and effort into it this here today was just an afternoon spent quickly banging up these two setups so it's getting easier for me and I think as well, when we look at what we're gonna try and sell them for, I'm gonna actually try and sell them for the same price each. And that's about $660 for uh, both the setup. So combined, that's about $1,220. So we're turning essentially that 520 into 1,220, all things go well. Also, another thing too, is that is in AUD, not US. I mean, 660 US would be pretty expensive for either of these setups. I, wouldn't be selling that myself it's just too much but in australia that's what roughly this would go for for someone who's ready to get a setup like this and it's all set up ready to go install their games and they've got no more problems after that now in terms of the 500 gigabyte hard drives yes there's no ssd in them but i think because they're newer 500 gigabyte hard drives i had no problems with them personally i think they're fine i disabled some of the windows services to speed them up and they're going to do an absolutely fine job of course, if someone wants to add an SSD in, they've got the option in both of those to put an SSD in and of course speed things up in terms of their boot times. But when we look at Call of Duty Warzone, that game alone is now requiring 240 gigabytes of storage. So the 500 gigabyte even is gonna be half full by the time you even install that one game. And we did throw on the Call of Duty Warzone background because both of these will play it on 1080p low settings, absolutely fine. So they'll give out a smooth experience for this game. And overall, I just think everything went pretty smoothly besides that one hard drive that was busted in that first PC deal that we picked up. But that's not a problem really, because I expected that to happen. I expected something little to happen. Uh, I mean, all fingers crossed that the graphics card wasn't the faulty part. And then in the case of the GTX 960, that was absolutely fine. And then also the R7 270X, R9, sorry, I keep getting those confused. I think there's one model, I think it is the 370 and the 370X. It goes from R7 to R9 in the same numbering scheme. It's like, bleh. Anyhow, with all that aside, I hope you guys enjoyed this one because this is easily the most requested uh, series that you guys have been wanting to see the next episode of. Almost every time I make a video now, someone is asking for these episodes to come to their sub box. And I'm gonna make sure I do it a lot faster than the last episode, don't worry. It's just because of this whole thing that's happened worldwide, I had to uh, seriously like do other stuff and I couldn't really go out too much. But now we've ramped it back up again. Hopefully it just keeps continuing smoothly. But that being said, I'm in one state in Australia where everything's fine here at the moment, but the states like as you go further down south, it just like literally goes south in terms of the conditions. So it's like there's uh, Victoria where I live in Australia. I mean, Victoria's in like complete shutdown at the moment. So that is uh, not a good thing. I'm hoping things get better down there. But that aside, if that happened up where I live, then there'd probably be another delay to this series, but hopefully it doesn't happen. And when I come back with the next episode, I will report how much we sold these two setups for, and we'll look at what we can do with the extra budget that we're now gonna have available. Because going forward, I'm really confident in what we've got here. And we've also managed to micro three LED fans and a SATA cable as well. And we've still got, I think like $26 left over. So, <laughs> We are microing hard, but we're going into the next episode and I'm sure we're gonna have a bigger budget. And finally, before we get on out of here, we got the question of the day, which comes from JD Craft, and they ask, can a Xeon X3450 with an RX 470 stream? And the answer is yes. Put the uh, load from the stream on the GPU encoder, I always say this, and I actually did this recently with the Warcraft 3 uh, setup that I made. I actually did that, I gave that a little test. That had an i7-860, I think it was, or 870 and that was pretty much a similar uh, to the Xeon X3450. Though, if you can overclock that X3450 Xeon, then definitely do it. And uh, if you do want to stream, I would recommend 16 gigabytes of RAM 
in your actual system too. That does help out if you've got another application open, especially if you've got a website open and some other programs like that in the background, it will help greatly. Uh, but other than that, you should be able to stream, just depends on the game, of course. Don't go into it expecting high settings and everything, like especially on Call of Duty Warzone and then smooth FPS. You might have to lower the settings, but you will get a pretty good, decent experience, or you should. And hopefully that answers that question. And with that aside, if you guys have stayed this far and you're enjoying that content and you want to see it the moment it drops, then be sure to hit that sub button, ring that bell, and also let us know in the comment section below what was your favorite deal and favorite part of today's video. Love reading your thoughts and opinions as always, and I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye. Oh, 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 oh.